All right, so today I want to talk about how you can find CSS styles that are not being used, and even, as a side note, scripts that are not being called. Now, I've got a simple little web page here. This one right here. I've got a header. I've got a main content with some paragraphs, and I've got a footer. That's all there is to it. In the head, I'm calling the materialized CSS library, so I'm bringing this big external library that I'm hardly using at all. The only things I'm taking from that, the class section and the class flow text. I've got a few of those in here. That's it. Style.css, this is my own script. And inside of here, there's the whole thing. I've got a few default styles, and then I've got a class that I created called useless, where I'm not using any of that. And then I've got a media query that has one style, which is only going to be used when the uh, page is below 550 pixels. Down to the bottom, I've got two scripts being brought in. One is the materialized JavaScript, and the other one is my own script. My own script, I've got a variable that I've declared and assigned a value to it. I'm waiting for DOM content loaded, so when the page loads, I'm going to call function number two. I've got my two functions, one and two. Number two is going to get called right away. Number one is only going to be called if I click on the footer. So that's all my script does. Now, let's try and find the CSS that is not being used. We've got our dev tools. So if I go into an inspect, right click, go to inspect, I bring up the dev tools. Inside of here, there's a whole bunch of different menus. I mean, we've got the console. I can see my script is running application for service workers and storage, stuff like that. The network tab, I can see all the resources being loaded. Sources, you want to see what the actual source is that's being loaded for your JavaScript and CSS and your HTML. Uh, you can see the images that are being loaded onto the page, all that. That's all well and good. And I can take a look at the CSS and see what the file is, but it doesn't tell me yet what is and isn't being used. What we need to do is we need to bring up another panel. And to get it, we need to use run command. So I can come to sources and see that it is command shift P or on Windows, I do think it is control shift P, but don't quote me on that. So running the command, I can also get to it by using the dev tool menu right here, the three dots, not the three dots that appear here, but the three dots like this. Now here's the run command. When I do that, you can see these are all the commands that you can run within DevTools, and there are a lot of them. They're all categorized into different sections. The drawer category, this is what we want to bring up. So I think it's a green, yeah, drawer. This is little smaller panels within sources that we can bring up. So show coverage. This is the one that we want to look. We want to see the CSS and JavaScript that is being used, the coverage for those. So to find it, if you're up at the top, I can just type coverage and it's going to filter all the results. I can say, oh yeah, there's the one I want. Drawer show coverage. When I click on that, it's going to open down here. And there it is. There's coverage. Inside of here, I need to refresh this. This is going to reload the page and start monitoring the CSS and the JavaScript to see if they're being used or not. So I'll click on that and there we go. I've got under type JS. So there's one, two, three, three scripts being loaded. One is mine. One is the materialized one. And one is a script that's being injected by VS code for doing the live updates as I change things in VS code. The CSS, there are just the two. Now, if I only want to look at the CSS, that's cool. We can come over here. We can select CSS. Now it's only going to show me those. Or I could choose JavaScript if I want. In my script, this is the usage visualization. So you materialize. You can see all this red. Unused bytes. 99% of the materialized CSS is not being used. 18% of my file is not being used. So even that's quite high. If I click on this, it's going to bring up my file here, and it jumped immediately to the section that wasn't being used. So the blue bars, same as the color coding being used down here, blue means it is being used, and then down at the bottom, red. There's my class that is not used anywhere on the page. And my media query, the paragraph style inside of there is not being used. We can, because this is sort of doing a live update. It, 
can be a little glitchy at times, but for the most part, I can go here, drop below 550. There we go. And now I can see that the style is being applied. I got the gold outline. And over in my CSS file, it shows me, yeah, these three lines, this style is now actually being used. So I've dropped down to 14% unused. Great. This one, still not being used. Okay, so I can assume, since if I wrote the CSS, I know when it would be used, and I can go, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, I didn't need that. I can remove that from my CSS file. For JavaScript, same sort of idea. In my JavaScript, there we go. I'll jump over to my script. And I can see that, yeah, this is being used. My DOM content loaded event, it ran. It called the function two. So down here, yep, two, it was being used. And function one, okay, this bit of code was not running. That's the fun code that runs when I click on the footer. So if I want to test that, Come over here and I'll click on my footer and sure enough now is being used. So it's it's one way that you can monitor and see which bits of your code are being run. But I don't generally use this. I much prefer to use the the console and the other um, tools that we get through sources, all the breakpoints and stuff like that. These tools are what I use for JavaScript debugging. For CSS though, you want to find out what's not being used, your unused CSS declarations, this is where you go. So you bring up, you go to the run command menu, look for show coverage, brings up the coverage drawer, select CSS, and you can see how much is not being used. And then drill down into that to really find the stuff that's not being used. All right, hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those uh, in the comments down below. I'll answer what I have time for. Um, I really would encourage you to dig around in here a little bit more in the run command. Take a look at some of the other things that you can do inside these menus. There's a lot of really useful stuff. Um, and that's it. So, as always, thanks for watching.